What's up, everybody? This is D Money with the Canes Insight Daily Podcast. Want to tell you about our good friends at Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. If you've been in a crash, someone you care about has been in a crash, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Don't go with a rookie. Go with somebody who knows the process, who has experts at every single stage of the process, who will treat you like family, who will make sure that you're protected, taken care of. Don't have to worry about anything except for getting the finest legal care and having your case handled by the absolute best. Take back control of your life. 1-800-747-FREE. 1-800-747-3733. Also want to talk about my friends at Canesware. You can go to the store at Davey, Football Heaven, or Canesware.com if you're not local. Get the absolute best in Miami Hurricanes gear, Miami Dolphins gear, Inter-Miami, Florida Panthers, Miami Heat, Miami Marlins. You name it, they have it. Absolute best when it comes to Miami sports fans, merchandise, and the best staff in the business. Ask anybody. They'll tell you. But if you're not lucky enough to go to the store, go to caneswear.com. Everything is available there, the spot where Miami fans shop. What's up, Canes fans? Peter Ariz here bringing you this edition of Canes Insight Daily. Filling in for D-Money this week as host as he is on a pre-planned family vacation so let him enjoy his time out there. But he'll still be hopping on here during the week, if anything does happen, that he needs to give his word on, give his opinion on. I'll be out at practice this week, so I'll keep you updated there. But very excited today to officially launch our partnership as we launched it last week, but in terms of the player interviews through Kane's connection. And again, if you did not see our announcement last week all over the Kane's Insight platforms the website again like and subscribe this video to, to this video but the canes connection there's no better way to support university of miami student athletes than through the canes connection the official nil partner of the university of miami you can go on there sign up for a membership anywhere from 20 to a thousand dollars a month and that promo code cis will give you 20 percent off your monthly rate there. So again, go check out canesconnection.com. And today, we will be interviewing Wesley Besanth, a guy who coming in from Miami Central was extremely highly rated, obviously had his, his pick of the litter in terms of wherever he wanted to go in the country. Wasn't the biggest recruit in terms of his size, right? At the linebacker position, came in around 200 pounds. Right. And he's worked really hard to put that weight on that. Obviously, you need at that linebacker spot. But immediately as a freshman brought speed and athleticism to the field. And on top of that, started this run of central to the U that we've seen recently. Obviously, Ruben Bain last year is one of the best players in the entire country, regardless of class coming from Miami Central, Armando Blunt this year, the five-star defensive lineman who's coming, he's 17 years old, right? So this is a guy who's going to continue to get better and has a very high ceiling. But on the field, Wesley Besant has been a guy who has continuously gotten better. Last year, as a sophomore, started in 10 games, had 44 tackles, six and a half tackles for loss, really big game against Florida State, had three tackles for loss and a sack in that one. And again, Listed on the website at 205 right now, but talking to him in this interview, he's up over 220 right now. So he's in a very positive place in terms of where his body's at and production wise has been awesome, right? So he's going to continue to get better in a very exciting linebacker room where there's a ton of athleticism, ton of speed, ton of length, right? So Wesley Besant now going to be a junior in that room. Kiko Mawanoa, obviously Popo Aguirre, who is a guy we'll have on the show later this week as well. And we can keep going down that list of names, right? Bobby Washington, Bobby Pruitt now, who's kind of sliding into that room as that safety linebacker. But a ton of guys to look at as D Money highlighted last week in that room. Excited to see them continue to grow under coach Derek Nicholson, who's now co-defensive coordinator. And again, with Wesley, the thing with him is that he can play all three downs, right? He can cover, he can play sideline to sideline, he can blitz, right? So he's a guy now coming into year three that I expect big things out of, and everyone's excited about him. So again, this interview in conjunction with the Canes connection. Also wanted to give a shout out 
to my guys over at the Ibis Vintage for this old school clam hurricane logo. I love this look and they have a ton of other looks like this at the Ibis Vintage. Check them out on Instagram and ibisvintage.com. But Canes fans, coming up next here, Wesley Basanth interview through the Canes Connection. Go check out canesconnection.com. All right, Canes fans, very excited to be joined now by Miami Hurricanes linebacker and Canes Connection athlete, Wesley Basanth. Wesley, how you doing today, man? Appreciate the, your time today. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. So, obviously, again, here with Canes Connection, we'll get into your partnership and your relationship with them in a little bit here. But the big news I have to ask you about first, we we were talking to your teammate, Raul Aguirre, earlier. Coach D. Nick, your position coach there, getting that that new title, that fancy title as co-defensive coordinator. Talk to me a little bit about your relationship with Coach D. Nick and, and you know, just that move for him and, and your feelings on it. Man, uh, my relationship with Coach D. Nick, man, it, 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 we're, we're very close. And um, I'm very excited he got the position, man. I feel like um, he's a very creative mind. Uh, I feel like he's going to put us in the best position to make plays um, on this defense and execute the defense. And I'm very excited about it, and I can't wait to get to work. You know, when I think about you, I think about, as far as with the University of Miami, I think about Mario Cristobal's first press conference. He takes off his jacket, and he goes straight to watch you play, still wearing the same same suit. How'd that make you feel that right from the beginning of Mario Cristobal era here in Miami, the really the first person he goes to see is you? Man, uh, it, it was amazing to me. You know, uh, he was fresh off a of plane. He was fresh off a of plane. And um, for for Central Miami Central to be his first stop, uh, man, it was an amazing feeling, man. And um, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. And, uh, you know, that, that really caught my eye. And, uh, you know, that's what made me a king. You mentioned Miami Central. Obviously, that has been a very good program, not just in terms of winning state championships every year, but sending players to Miami that are great program. It's been a great program. I'll, I'll correct you right there. It's, a, it's, it's not a good program. It's a great program. Great program. Mm -hmm. And then kids that are ready to play and really understand the game of football intellectually. So just what did playing at Central do to prepare you for this level of football? Man, uh... My head coach, Coach Drew Joseph, man. Um, my linebackers coach, Coach P, man. They prepared me well for college. Uh, at Central, we had a college-like defense. So when I came in, you know, you know, I I started off pretty slow, but it I picked up pretty fast. You know, I was an early enrollee, so you know, I rolled right into it. I picked it up pretty fast, and um, by the end of the year, I was starting. I feel like them two coaches they prepared me well in um high school, and I feel like the whole the whole central program going to prepare you well for college. Uh, I feel like they, they just the workouts and the way they prepare you with meetings and, you know, early practices, you know, they have all that. So when you get here, it's not new. You're already used to it. What would you say is your favorite or your best memory from playing high school football down here in South Florida? Um, I'll probably have to say my state championship game, my sophomore year. Um, we played, uh, I think Edgewater, it was something like that. Edgewater, um, drove up to Daytona, Daytona beach. Um, that was my favorite game. Uh, that's when I got my first ring, my first state championship ring. And then my last question in terms of the high school stuff, who was, because everyone knows South Florida is the, the place when it comes to talent coming out, who was the best player that you saw? It doesn't have to be someone you, you, played against but even growing up watching ball down here i mean who who were kind of on on that mount rushmore for you growing up um for me um it'll probably have to be he he played running back for us at miami central his name was Les, lexington joseph of course he yeah. had number, flex, yep. he had number four flex yep. for some reason i i i seen flex do some crazy stuff for some reason he he always did something that caught my eye, so he he probably had to be like one of my favorite players. There you go, I like that. You know, I was on social media today. I saw that you posted a weight gain. You were 193 pounds when you got in here. Now you're 222. You know, still in shape. How did you? That's a lot of weight to put on. It's a lot of eating, a lot of lifting. 
Mm -hmm. Tell me about that process to get from where you were to where you are now. Man, I'm I'm not gonna say it was easy. Um, you definitely gotta eat. You gotta you gotta drink your protein shakes. Like it's a lot, and it's crazy because um, when I went to go pick up dinner from um the players lounge yesterday, um, our head nutritionist she called me over. She was like, I put on thirty pounds since I've been here, and um I and I only put on four percent was body fat. Oh, so. I put on, wait, hold on. I put on 30 pounds and only four of it was body fat. Four pounds of it was body fat, yeah. Yeah, so the rest of it was muscle. How do you feel so, differently? I mean, we see you on the field. You're still fast. You're still moving around. But just mm -hmm. carrying that extra weight, how does it feel? Man, I feel more explosive. Uh, I feel like I'm stronger. I feel stronger, more explosive. Uh, man, it, 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 I needed it. I needed it uh, to, you know, be able to finish blocks on the field with the old lineman. You know, I'm hitting old lineman consistently, so you need that weight to be able to do it all game long. Wesley, I wanted to talk a little bit about Kane's connection. Obviously, this interview is in partnership with Kane's connection. Mm -hmm. Talk to to me and and Danny here about you know the opportunities provided to you by Kane's connection and to, provided to you and your family. Oh uh, man, uh, I feel like King Sinestrian, um they helped me expand my brand, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um they helped me expand my brand. Um just just a great company that you feel me that that helps the players, not just me, just helps all the players expand their brand and get their name out there for more people to you know know about them and to for the fans to interact with their players, to know more stuff about the players. And that's obviously building your brand is such an important part of today in college football and in college sports, right? I mean, let's let's get to know Wesley outside of the football field. Let's talk exactly. about some of your interests mm -hmm. outside of football. I mean, what's a what's a normal day when you're done with your all your football work, when you're done with your film study, all your school work? Obviously, what are some of the things that that you're you're doing or, or things that interest you? Um, outside the facility, uh. I'm a big movie person, so uh, I like to watch movies. Um, I search up old movies, new movies. It don't matter. Uh, if I never watched it, I'm going to watch it. So if, if I did watch it, I'm going to watch it. So I'm a big movie guy. Probably just like to lay down, you know, relax, watch a quick little movie. So what are some of your favorite movies that, you, that you've watched over the time? Um, I have to say Fast and the Furious. I'm a big fan of Fast and the Furious. Uh, I like all of them. Uh, I'm a big fan of the movie Friday. I love Friday, and I like Soul Plane. Yeah, man, it's funny because like I was a kid when that movie came out. You probably weren't even born yet. That's like watching like a black and white yeah. movie for you. That's like old, way, <laughs> way past your time. <laughs> it still holds up. Yeah. Yep. So on the on the football field, you know, when you started playing, were you always a linebacker? Were you a receiver or running back? Or um, when I first started playing, uh. I was a center. Like when I when, <laughs> my first year I I'm played not center. Embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. My first year I played center and uh I and then I moved to DN. I was a stand up DN. And then when I turned like 10, is the first year I played linebacker. And then ever since then I've been at linebacker. Now we've seen high school defensive ends move to linebacker, maybe offensive players or safeties move to linebackers. You play linebacker in high school. Mm -hmm. So what is it about that position that you think suits you as a person and as a player? Man, I, I feel like I feel like the position was made for me. Um, I feel like I'm aggressive. I, I love to hit. I'm fast, and um, I love to get to the ball. And I was just always a playmaker at that position. I feel like the position was just made out for me, and I feel like I'm gonna do some big things at it. Wesley, let's talk a little bit about that room that you're a part of, that linebacker room, right? I mean, there's a lot of guys who can run, who can mm -hmm. hit, right? Who can get sideline to so sideline, who can play in coverage, who can blitz, right? So, in your eyes, how's that room coming together? A lot of young guys in there. You're one of the you're one of the older guys now, obviously mm -hmm. you and and Francisco. Yeah. So, I mean, just talk about how you think that room is coming together as a whole. Oh man, I feel like we're a brotherhood, man. Uh, you know. Just I feel like the young guys are starting to like you know gra grasp everything, um, become more comfortable with the defense. You know I love to see it. Um, you know, me and Kiko, 
Francisco, Francisco, my bad. We call him Kiko. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, you know, we try to lead the younger guys. You know, whenever they ask us questions, we ask them. I mean, we answer them. And you know, even some of the freshmen like picking it up quick. And you know, it's great to see. Like, very smart. You know, man, it's. I feel like we're a brotherhood. We all help each other when one needs help. And I feel like that's what's gonna help your team and your position group get better. You know, you can't be selfish. You gotta, you gotta help one another to be successful. Wesley, when when you decided to come to Miami, obviously stayed stayed home, had an opportunity to go pretty much anywhere you wanted in the country, right? So just talk to us a little bit about what it's been like for your family to you know still have that tight relationship with them. You can see them anytime you want. They can come to all your games and how it's played out for you in that sense. Man, I'm glad. I'm glad I chose home. Uh, just for my mom. My mom's right down the street. Just for my mom to just pull up to the game, drive like five minutes. Man, it's great. You know, see their faces. I don't got to you know. And I could go down. I could go see their faces any day of the week. So, man, it's, it's a great experience, you know, just to play college ball home, at home and still see your family. So yeah. you've been grabbing you've been grabbing a couple extra plates when you go home. And you come definitely. back to campus. That's, definitely, that's, that's, definitely. A secret. that's a secret to the weight gain, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What, what's the go-to meal at home? Um, Probably go get some spaghetti with some garlic bread. That'll put the weight on you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll put the weight on you for sure. No. Uh, D, anything else here before we before we let uh, Wesley go here in a minute? Just the goals. You know, for you personally, the team, just some goals for the season. Oh, man. Me personally, I'm looking to have a big year, man. Uh, but like, I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like what the what the defense is gonna do, what the team is gonna do. I feel like nobody's gonna be ready for. It. I feel like uh, 2024 Miami Hurricanes are coming different this year. Um, but can't do no talking. Got to put it into action. So, yeah. Listen, man, we can't wait to watch you. Best of luck this season. I know you've been working hard, classroom, weight room. They don't know what goes into to what you do, man. It's it's it's, it's a lot. We appreciate you mm -hmm. and hope you have a great season. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Rockets for life, man. Rockets for life, baby. <laughs>